Hello everybody and welcome back to Tonga, where we have a, uh, a small issue here with our treasury. That said, a large amount of that is our interest. We need to get to a point, though, where we are positive financially. ASAP. Advancement of the clergy. That's fine. They can do that. They can do whatever they want, actually. That'll be just fine. I keep hoping we're going to get another base tax here from our colonist promoting growth. Mamluks are administrating an empire. Good for Mamluks. I don't really care about that right now. What I really want is Kirakira Roa to uh, finish growing. That's going to be a little while yet. We're almost certainly going to take another loan. And when that happens, basically all of our deficit will be interest. Whoa, we lost that. I didn't expect that to happen. They don't have enough to actually siege that, though. So that's fascinating. We'll go ahead and come on back to Taranga. And let's hit them again. We shouldn't have a problem there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we took a loan. I would prefer that we didn't do that, but we did. At this point, I would really like to get additional money from something. Like an event would be great. <laughs> Base tax. That's fantastic. I think as long as we're over a 20% chance, it's pretty much worthwhile. Like, here it would be only a 13% chance. I don't think that's worthwhile to promote colony growth there, or rather city growth there. But I think down here in Ariri, that's fine. Oh man, they did it again. What a bunch of jerks. Gonna have to wait for our month tick. Gonna have to wait for a second month tick. Now we can go in and crush them. What that tells me is that we need slightly more morale. We'll do like that. Then the other thing, I hate to do this. I really hate to do this, but I think it's necessary. I think we need to debase our currency a bunch of times. Like that. And then just repay our loans. Now we're still going to be losing a tiny amount of money. How can we save our uh, money here? I mean, we can bring our army maintenance back down. To where we're like even. We're pretty much guaranteed to lose our fight here though. Right? So... We could lose the stability or lose government reform progress. I think we just paid off all of our loans, but I think we can lose the government reform progress. We need to get our stability back up because of this legitimacy issue. It's a bit of an issue. Okay, so we went right back to losing 0.12 per month. Hopefully, we finish this up before we run out of money. That's the idea here. Come on. 962, 966, it's going to be close, unless we get an event, or the settler attracts settlers, which I think, there's only a 9.8% chance of that, but I think we're going to make it. Yep, I'm pretty sure we're going to make it. So we're not going to be going for another colonist for a while. But this is now good to go. We're making 0.17, but that's because we need to core this. So there we go. We'll go ahead and core that. Now we're making 0.22. And let's go ahead and, for right now, we're just going to promote settlement growth here. And we are now making a tiny amount of money, but that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and boost our stability back up. At this point, we've got the admin power to burn. And now technically we can move these troops down over here. Although, yep, I was afraid of that. I didn't want them to go that way. We completely lost them. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to have to replenish them eventually. 
But for right now, we're just growing these colonies. Um, we're going to need, what, like 30 to do this? I think we're going to have to debase our currency. I hate to do that again. But we're going to need to do that and recruit three units there. And we're going to need to unmothball our transports. Spy network construction? No, we'll take the prestige. Don't really care about spy networks. Fur is disappearing. That's no good. In fact, that's quite bad. We're going to need to go ahead and temporarily bump our army maintenance up to full. This is a temporary situation, though. And then we're going to transport these over using the fleet. So we're going to attach that here. The fleet's going to come over here. This is the side where the dock is going to be, right? Over here? I actually don't know. But we're now going to do a naval landing. I want to avoid this 5k stack. These guys can come back to Taranga. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out of Ariri for right now. And we're going to send a colonist right here. To Waitaha. Excellent. We'll go ahead and remothball our fleet here. Our fleet maintenance was already at bottom, so that's good. We are no longer going to be needing our army maintenance quite this high. This is what, a 1k? So we need it at like a third of this. So a third of 0.65, we'll call it... Uh, we'll call it bringing it down to like 0.45 or so. Maybe 0.4. Now, we'll, we'll do it at, like, 0.43. So we are losing a tiny amount of money here. But with any luck... Oh, we can get an idea. Um, global settler increase. Yes, please. What else can we get? When can we get a tech? Not for a while. Of course, we're behind in dip tech right now, but we are focusing on dip tech. With any luck, this guy will go ahead and get us a base tax here and solve our financial issue. Once and for all. That would be nice. Oh, we uh, don't have a general here. Oof. That was close. That was really close. We need that general. I'm also going to bump up our army maintenance to 0.6. Hopefully that'll be a little bit less close next time. Ooh, two more base tax in Tonga. Yes, please. That's our financial problem solved right there. And 50 free dip power. I will happily take that. Okay, we're making money. So that means that we need to start putting money into rooting out corruption. Not a lot, just a very small amount right now. I want to still be making like 0.1 per month. Ultimately, I want to be making more than that, but for now, that'll do. We're getting bad luck on this colonist up here. 27.7% chance annually. Like, I would have expected that we would have gotten one by now. Oh well. Let's go ahead and recall him from there, actually, for right now. I feel like we are better off spending the money on getting more land. Like, let's colonize all of New Zealand. Oof. That was bad. We're going to need to, like, max out our army maintenance. I can't believe we lost that. We're going to need to send these guys in. Actually. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just come here. We'll attach on. Because we do not want to walk through here. We got lucky that they didn't proc. That the natives didn't proc. There we go. You can get back home. And mothball. We're going to have to keep an eye down here to see if they proc. A comet. Oof. Losing a stability. That sucks. 
we're going to go ahead and boost the stability right back up. Also, we now have our trade coming back in, so we're making money again, even with our uh, army maintenance maxed. I'm going to go ahead and put the army maintenance at about minus one morale. What is their overall morale? Their overall morale is 2.58. Okay, fair enough. That should be fine right there. And then let's go ahead and root out corruption, but I still want to be gaining about a quarter ducat per month right now. That's kind of my goal. Native assimilation. I like to see that. Okay. Natives, but we just crushed them. Fantastic. Prince Consort of the People will gain legitimacy. Help stave off our legitimacy issues. Well, I mean, realistically, we're gaining legitimacy now, but that's fine. Of course, we are saving up to be able to build our uh, temples. We can go ahead and root out additional corruption, and I'm going to do that. Oh, we need to move in here. There we go. I'm going to leave them here because this one is going to be finishing and we're going to be moving down to Waihopai very soon. Now we're currently losing money because we're replenishing troops, but we'll be gaining money again soon. We're now financially solvent. Ooh, we could gain nobility, lobil nobility loyalty. Nobility lobility, I guess? Diplomatic relations plus one. We don't care about that. Merchant guilds losing loyalty we kind of do care about. We need money, global trade power plus 10%, and 15 loyalty and influence to the merchant guilds. That would be kind of huge. We're going for that. The more money that we get, the better. So then the merchant guilds would be able to give us a contribution here. We'll also grant them the monopoly charters. And we will uh, go ahead and seek the support of the clergy. Ooh, we could do new world missions. Native uprising chance reduction and native assimilation. We are totally doing that. Okay. That should help our colonization substantially. Sounds fantastic. So, do we see any Europeans yet? Probably not quite yet. I didn't see any there. Ooh, aid to the nobility. Ugh. They're really awful. I mean, they have no provinces, right? They, they're just at the base influence level. We don't really care about land maintenance modifier and, land, and manpower recovery speed right now. I think... Yeah, they can't go any lower than that, I think. We're losing more navy tradition, but that's okay. We'll get it back later on. And then once we are done colonizing New Zealand, we will start colonizing some of these other outlying islands as well as Australia. But uh, actually, Australia is kind of a top priority. Do we have the ability to get explorers yet? We do. Let's go ahead and queue ourselves up three barks once we have the money. Which we are currently losing money. But that's okay. Ooh, that's something we need to take care of. Get out of here. Excellent. Okay, so we need a total of three barks to be able to do exploration. And we do need to start e exploration ASAP. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't want to take a loan. I don't want to debase currency. I think we just need to wait. Do we reduce our inflation? I feel like we do. It's 100 admin power, but we lose a full 2% inflation. And that'll help us out. We can also go ahead and grab Viceroy's. Global tariffs 
and Envoy Travel Time. That's going to be a big deal. We'll go ahead and grab that. Excellent. So we're currently gaining about a quarter ducat a month. So, eh, actually 0.2 ducats a month. But we need to get this fleet made. So we'll do that one. And then this colony should be finishing up shortly. Oh, did we just die? We did. Moana is now ruling our kingdom. Kamea is the new heir to the throne. Kamea Arano? We'll go ahead and grab Miltech 4. That'll help our fight against the natives quite substantially. And also we need to go ahead and boost our stability. Ooh, look at this. We could get... Oh, come on. Gift to the state. We could get either 13 ducats or we could get 10 prestige. And we're taking the ducats. Okay, well it is time to put a cut in here, but we are definitely expanding. And we're expanding quite quickly now. Subscribe for more, and next episode, we will continue doing that. See you all then.